What's going on, YouTube? Got a factory smokes. Uh, Maduro. This is by Drew Estate. Right now it's smoking like one. There's a lot of smoke coming off of that. <clears throat> It's been a long time since I had a cigar, so I figured today's a good day. So my hair's a mess and I'm sweaty. It is hot. We got the evening sun beginning to set across on the west Maui Mountains over there. So it's coming, and I got some towels around that are kind of like shade cloths. Um, if you can see that hole punch. So, I've been using this one more. Oh, I'm a cigar holder. You probably know what a hole punch is, but if you don't, there you go. So you punch that into the cigar, and it's got a bevel to it, so it's nice and sharp. And then you um, press it out. Click. Boom. Keychain. Good to go. This one's a nice mobile one. Um, I did, I can't find what I did with my other torch lighter, but it has a built, built in uh, hole punch in it. And um, some torch lighters frequently or often have that hole punch. I didn't know that. So. I went and bought one. This was at a local liquor store, but anyway. And then, use it with my Zippo. Double torch slider. Okay, I see it. So this one's actually <clears throat> the pipe lighter design, but I like using my other Zippo for my pipes. One with the Hawaii Hawaiian Islands and King Kamehameha. Oh, I just ashed my cigar. So there you go. Housekeeping is almost done. I promise. So, lastly, drinking some 12 year Johnny Walker Black. Anyway, let's see. Been lurking for a little bit. It seems like I haven't posted in a long time. Um, been watching YTPC. Been really busy. Got a lot of stuff going on. Um, different work things. Bunch of field work. We've been doing some. This section of field work. A lot of clearing bent over all day just pulling weeds and grass from, from features taking pictures and mapping it's just it's starting to get hot around Kie, even though we're up country on the hillside and um did some brewing i have a um a wheat beer raspberry wheat beer with kavite yeast I'm really stoked about that. So, um, in a nutshell, Kavike yeast for the for the for those of you who don't know, it's uh, I think it's originally Norwegian um, alehouse style yeast, which actually does really well on high temps. Like 100 degrees Fahrenheit is prime for fermentation, and for a lot of their beers, fermentation depending on the style. Ideally ranges from 65 to maybe mid 80s, depending on what f flavor profiles you want, what strain of yeast you have, and what kind of beer you're making. So a lot of temperature control. Uh, but I'm trying the Kavike yeast because I don't really have a whole lot of room right now um, to make a fermentation chamber. I was thinking about maybe using my 
kegerator as a fermentation chamber. But I figured if I try this one and it does really well between high 80s and 100, then um, it should ferment fine without any fermentation control. And the higher the temperature, the more fruity the flavor. So you can't really go wrong. Also, under prime temps, it could ferment in a day, which is crazy if you've been in, in brewing or around brewing. Um, but I, I've, I've been letting it sit for probably, it's been a little over a week now, mainly because of schedule purposes. So it's well and ready. I think it's even stopped bubbling. Now, it's not a sure sign that it's done fermenting. You really want to get hydrometer levels, but anyway... I'm pretty sure it's done fermenting, so I'm excited for that. I was thinking about actually racking it tonight, clearing it up and getting in the fridge, let it clear for a day or two, and then carbonate it, and then it should be ready by the end of the week. And then a uh, little two for one, while I, I so I used malt, or I, sorry, I used, yeah, I used malt, liquid malt extract, pre-hopped, and it came with its own wheat yeast but I'm using a separate yeast that I bought differently right so I had leftover wheat ale yeast and I did a quick thing of uh, mead for it so I made it a little bit on the sweeter side it's I did shoot what did I do oh oh my gosh that was like a week ago I already forgot um I want to say I did two pounds of honey, wildflower honey, to make one gallon, and the wheat ale, I think is a 5% yeast, so it should finish a sweet, semi-sweet mead, low gravity, which will be good because you can drink it like a beer and not worry about getting wasted. If you get really high ABV meads, dessert meads. Traditionally, they could be up to 18, maybe even 21%. So, anyway. So that's what I've been up to. It took a long time. I got sidetracked. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about cellaring, right? Or maybe not even talk to you about cellaring. We all know about cellaring. But maybe just do a cellar deep cellar inventory and um, if you need something playing in the background maybe you can just play this because I'm not going to be too worried about time I'm already at 8 minutes so I'm just going to I'm just going to jump in I kind of talked about it in one of my other videos what I call my cellar is <laughs> an eclectic range of open tins and samples, pouches, mason jars of different things I've tried. And right now, I don't have like a set rotation. I've been, recently, this last month, I've been um, enjoying Virginia's. So mainly Orlick Golden Slice, which I enjoy a lot. And uh, fourth generation Evening Flake, which is really good. And a little bit of sample of Epiphany by C and D. So that's to me that's more of a burly kind of base blade bourbon's kicking in. Burly based blend. Um but Virginia's. And this morning I had a pipe, I had a bowl of uh, GLP's navigator by my good buddy Steve. Um in fact we had a uh, smoke sesh I think last week impromptu I was home he was home we both happened to have, be uh, having a pipe at the same time and we did an Instagram virtual sesh so that was awesome um, but yeah a while back he was able to get a couple of tins for me and send them to me and he threw in a tin of navigator which is uh, awesome and um, if you happen to see the Steve I promise you I got you back. It's uh, schedule right now is crazy, but 
um, and won't go unthanked. Uh, really great blend, Virginia Burley Bass, Kentucky, and uh, rum. So that was really great. Uh, opened it, let it sit, had it for a couple months now. It's starting to settle in. Definitely can taste the Kentucky. I probably would smoke that blend more in the evenings. Um, whew, it is hot and humid out here today. I had it first thing in the morning. Um, I wanted a Virginia. And it was between that and Orlick Golden Slice, but with that, um, probably save it with um, some bourbon or some tea in the evening. And um, anyway, that's what I had uh, this morning, part of my Virginia. Anyway, but um, yeah, sorry, I don't really have a plan, and I, I know I got sidetracked again, but. Shadowing. Ah, rotation, right, right. So I've been mainly going through Virginia's. Um, a little bit of Englishes here and there. And yeah, so I don't have a, like I don't have really have a set rotation. I kind of have this eclectic cupboard of of stuff that's available and when I get into moods. But I've been thinking of really kind of challenging myself and picking two blends, two pipes, and really sit down. So I might do that and really focus on those. But um, as for a deep seller, I just have this little this box. It's a, the Food Saver box. Um, I bought a vacuum, food vacuum machine a while ago, last year, I think. And I've been throwing tins in there that I'm not touching right now. Most of these I've tried. I usually get at least two so I can open and have one and then just forget about the other one so that's what this is but there are a couple of uh, there are a few tins in here that I I don't really I haven't tried but grabbed and haven't figured out what I'm going to do with yet and then some of them are bulk that I've vacuum sealed and blah 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 so let's just let's get to it currently yard organizers This one's vacuum sealed, mainly just for freshness, but I really don't know how these will age if you have the vacuum sealer. Take out all the air versus just seal it. Some of the ones I have stored that I'm not really like trying to age, but um, if I decide to have some later, I don't vacuum seal them, I just seal them. So it's kind of like a mason jar, so it's still kind of fresh and doesn't dry out, but it's not completely sucked out but this is the Gawith and Hogarth best brown licorice this is a, a tobacco that I really enjoy so this is probably half of the um, 250 grams that I bought a couple years ago the other half I have in a big mason jar but this one is just to totally forget about um, if you like licorice or anise flavors that is a really good blend this one, Comois. Shoot, and I can't remember. I think this is number four. I might be wrong, but these are the coins. Vapor with a, a Cavendish center. Um, I bought a sample, I think about two ounces, like two years ago. And I had a few bowls when I first got it. Was not impressed. Let it sit for coming out two years now still was not impressed so I just sealed it up and decided to forget about it I might do a next giveaway I do might throw that in uh, some people don't agree with giving away tobaccos you don't like but how else are you going to try stuff right? so anyway um, side note I did have a sample of Stokeby's Luxury English and I've brought this up a couple times. They disappeared. I don't know. We, we left Oahu on uh, 2018. I had like a two-ounce sample. The last I had, I had a couple bowls on the beach on a weekend, and I never saw it again. And I'm bummed because I, I always wonder what they would taste like now. But um, I might have to just reorder those samples at some point. Next. Whole pound. 
Like Baron Scottish blend. That early blaze. Really base blend that I enjoy a lot. Uh, someone on Instagram was getting with their stuff and I was able to snag this, so I'm glad that's in there. Uh, Captain Black Original, the white pouch. Uh, they actually sell these at the Walgreens here, and they're like $3 a pouch. So whenever we go to Walgreens and I happen to check if they're there, they're in stock, I grab like three pouches. Um, I really enjoy Captain Black. I haven't had it in a while, but I do like Captain Black, especially the original. Uh, Royal is okay. I really like the dark, but that's what we got. Okay, so there's that. Um, got two tins. Sammy G's Fire Dance Flake. This is a Virginia with vanilla and currant or blackberry topping um, I have probably like a quarter of a tin left that I've been savoring and enjoying here and there especially in the summers but this was on sale and in stock a while back I don't know I don't even remember when I bought these stuff and um, so I snagged a couple of those while I could and shoot so here is another Sammy G's handsome flake of Virginia Perique with Lakeland Essence and um, I do have a mason jar I've only had a couple bowls and liked it a lot so I want to revisit this but um, I used to have three tins I think about four one to open and three to seller or three total anyway I traded one um, on Instagram for some McClellan's someone had extra wasn't able to get a hold of the handsome flake didn't want to deal with pipes and cigars boom made a trade it was awesome so I still have that and uh, I really do like Samuel Gawith um, blends and this was a more recent one they had in stock so I picked up some chocolate flake I had one tin before Ended up giving a lot of samples away and a giveaway and whatever in different trades and went back and found it. Really enjoyed it. So when that was there, picked me up a tin of that. Picked me up a tin of Perfection. Haven't tried it. So Perfection I might crack open sooner rather than later. Or I might just keep it in here and totally forget about it. And then also Commonwealth. I think this one is Virginia Latakia. And the other perfection is uh, has a touch of vanilla, so I have those for mainly availability. Also, been trying more Latakia stuff and enjoying Latakia. I talked about that in a couple of videos. So I don't even know if I uploaded them. I got a, I got a big backlog. I gotta get caught up with. But anyway, uh, feeling kind of Englishy, so that was available. Pipes and cigars, which. Will, I have never, I don't think I've ever seen Samuel Gawith available at Pipes and Cigars since I got on. Every time I, were, I was able to get SNG was through tobacco pipes or smoke pipes. I thought. Anyway, let's go. Next one. Formers. I found this brand pretty recently and enjoyed it a lot. So. I have one tin of the bird's eye flake in here. I think that one is my least favorite out of the whole line. So I got two tins of straight grain flake. Really great flake. Kind of re reminded me of uh, Peterson's Irish whiskey actually. Really dark, rich, a um, little bit kind of floral, not quite soapy almost cologne like but really great smoke actually I lied to you I have another straight grain in there so I got three straight grain flake I got three cross grain flake Amazing Virginia with just a little, oh, 
let's go off this here. Just a little bit of pre cooked. To me, this is very reminiscent of Orlick Golden Sliced. This kind of has a more um, deeper bready flavor. And the Orlick Golden Slice I have open now has been aging for about three years. So now it's starting to become more sweet and very, very good. Anyway, so those are the, the, the formers in there. And speaking of which, I got a big old tin. This is the, is it three and a half? Yeah, three and a half ounce or a hundred gram tin. This one's unopened. This one is, they're kind of like in belts. I lied to you guys again, I got two other <laughs> cross grain, they're that good. Yeah, I, I think I ordered two to sell her, and then Steve was able to find some by him. So I had him grab those for me when he could. I don't sell her a lot of aromatics, but the Zuri Mirsham company, uh, Professor Walker, was selling some of the stuff he got from the same guy off of Instagram really good deal never tried it so I bought a couple I uh, one opened um, another one of those where it's it was good but um, I'm unless I have a very specific craving for aromatics I haven't been smoking a lot really I really preferred Virginia Virginia Preeks or Burleys so I don't know I might I don't know what to do with that one either that one might end up in a giveaway we'll see uh, Capstan. Capstan? I don't like it. But my sister got me this for my either my birthday or Christmas. From a local spot in Tennessee. And I've I have the ready rub version, which is really good, so I'm excited to make my way to this. I'm gonna sit on this for a while at that age. Since we're talking about aromatics, Orlix mellow mixture. I had a few bowls of this and ended up giving my the open tint to my dad. So I think this is a Virginia Burley Black Cavendish. Um, pretty heavy topping. Mellow mixture. Describes it. Um, it's got more on the sweet side. Another one that I was not very fond of. So I don't really sell her aromatics, but I have a few of them in here that I either got when I was first starting or just came across, including CND's. Jolly old Saint Nicholas. Um, pretty heavily topped, but I remember this being very orangey and gingery, which was it was really nice. So yeah, the date is October 19th, 2018. Captain Black, Black Sea. Very good. This one is, I think it's the they're original, but with Latakia added, so it's nice and sweet. We got some smokiness. It's a really good blend. Sutliff's Crumble Cake Barrel Aged Number One. This is a cut plug. Um, apple flavor is very prominent and uh, very strong tobacco. I remember, and this is I got it recently within the year and uh, have experienced some strong tobaccos, so it was, um, for me, it's strong. And something that I wouldn't smoke, uh, that I don't smoke often, I've had it on a couple of occasions. Um, you know, this is like a good end of the week smoke. Got some nice bourbon or brandy, it's been a long week, dessert after dinner. So that one's really cool. And then, what else do I got here? Two tins of Peterson Elizabethan mixture. Really great Virginia Perique. Also, like Peterson brand, I have a few of them as you've seen. Oh, I'm losing stuff now. I got two tins of Peterson Flake. 
stashed away, and these are, looks like 2019. Nice kind of mellow brown Virginia, some citrus notes, very good blend. Then, some Wessex Burley Slice, probably my favorite Burley, this stuff is great. I've been on the lookout for that, a little bit harder to find. Um, another Burley Flake, Solani Age Burley Flake, I know this was trending for a while this last year, so you guys are probably very familiar with it, but both very great burly flakes. I like I like this one better. Oh, losing it. And while we're on Wessex, I was able to snag a brick of the gold brick Virginia plug. This has been on my radar since I first got in and sells out so fast. So when they drop this, I just picked it up. Oh, oops, just ashed my cigar. Okay, Peterson University Flake. This one's pretty good. Um, this has a plum topping, I believe. What's that? Flake. Brown and orange, Virginia. You get some citrus in there. Yeah, yeah. And I believe it's a plum topping. I could be wrong. But it's pretty good. Haunted Bookshop. This one had a rough entry into the States. But I really like Haunted Bookshop. So. Okay, one of the newer ones too. McBaron's Latakia Rolls. Pretty good. Reminiscent kind of of uh, uh, a Dark Twist. So, kind of same thing. Like Dark Twist with some Latakia in it. Also something... Sorry, the sun's coming up. Was trying to find for a long time. Had a hard time... Again, that have not tried this yet. I got one I gotta open, I'm gonna try, and this one is just gonna hang out here in this cellar. This one's the Empire Preak Flake. I talked quite a bit about that, so I took half the tin, put it in here. Great stuff. I'm finding that um, I really do like German tobacco, that's probably my favorite well, style or region, I guess, where tobacco's from. Some holiday spirited Kringle flake, black and red Virginia flake with 17 year old Perique. This is that is a good one. And then I have a tin of GLPs, Regent flake, a uh, Virginia Perique with some Oriental mix. Still do like blends and mixes with oriental leaf in it but i have to be in the mood because when i do smoke it it sticks with me all day i don't it's just my chemistry i guess i don't know um great flavors um when i find like with the regent flake or empire flake very bready sweet toasty um profiles that go really great with virginia's kind of like virginia in itself but the virginia's really add the sweetness to it so really great condiment leaf that I enjoy a lot, but um, I just taste it all day. <laughs> and then, what is this at? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, three tins of some small batch Carolina Red Flake been kind of rationing the tin that I have open because I like this a lot and I ended up trading one tin for another uh, trade with some other, I think it was uh, Mark from Rhode Island included Carolina Red Batch and then lastly some Rattray's Marlin Flake so I was able to grab I'm trying to think when did I get this uh, 2019 Cracked the tin and I put half of it in here. It's one of the first things that I sellered. So 
looking forward to down the road whenever that is when I open that. So there you go. That is my deep seller inventory as of now. Um, eventually, I'm, I'm out of vacuum save bags, but like the Samuel Gawith and probably the capstan, I am definitely going to vacuum seal those because I know those square tins are notorious for not holding seals and then rusting like crazy if you don't catch them. So that's my plan. But anyway, I'm going to chill here, finish my cigar and my bourbon and uh, look forward to payday, I guess. I don't know, it's midweek. <laughs> Been enjoying the YTPC, a lot of great videos. Um, still giveaways going. Hopefully, I can do my giveaway soon. It was supposed to be for 300. I'm sitting at about 334, 335. I might just wait till it's 400. If it gets to 400, we'll see. But anyway, you guys stay safe. I love you all. Take care. Smoke something good. Eat something better. What else do I say? I don't know. It's been a while. Alright guys, catch you later.